Greetings, this is Professor Fitzgerald, and in this video I'm going to work out a problem from my math lab. And this is one that was sent by one of your classmates. And it says, suppose that eight turns of a wire are wrapped around a pipe with a length of 60 inches and a circumference of 4 inches so that the wire reaches the bottom of reaches from the bottom of the pipe to the top. What is the length of the wire? And it gives us a hint. Picture cutting the pipe along its length and pressing it flat. Okay, let's start by drawing the pipe, and this is certainly not to scale, but here's the top of the pipe, and here's a side, and here's another side of the pipe, and here's the bottom of the pipe. And let's put its dimensions in. The length of the pipe is 60 inches from the top to the bottom. The circumference of the pipe, which is if you were to wrap yarn or some string around um, its cir circular area or the base, is 4 inches. Not to scale, but if we wrap all the way around, and this will dash behind, that's 4 inches. Now what we want to do is from the hint tells us to cut the pipe along its length. So here, imagine that this red line dash line that I'm drawing would be cutting the pipe. And so we cut the pipe and then we take the pipe and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right along this line and then we're going to stretch it out. So let's do that. So here's the length of the pipe. This is our 60 inch length, a little shaky there. And we're going to stretch it out four inches this way. And this is this, is this four inch circumference make it a little bit longer, not to scale, and there's the other length of the pipe. So we've opened it up. And so again, let's put our, this is our 60 inch length of the pipe. And since the circumference is four inches, this would be, we'd stretch it out. And there's our four inches. Now, what they neglect to include in this problem is that when they have eight turns of the wire are wrapped around the pipe, we're assuming that they're equally uh, distant. So sort of wrapping it around nice and evenly like this. They're equally distant wrapped around. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Imagine they're equally distant. No, so to have them equally distant, we are going to have to take this 60 inch length and divide it by 8. Okay, so if we divide 60 by 8, we get 7.5. So let me put a little guidelines and imagine we'll cut this into 8 sections, for example. So here I cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in half again. So now I have 4 sections. I'm creating a visual for you. Now I cut that in half again and I have 8 equidistant sections of the pipe. And this is what it would look like if we wrapped it, wrapped the, um, opened it up after we wrapped the wire around. The first wire is going to wrap around like this and it's going to meet on the other side right here. There's the second turn of the wire. There's the third turn of the wire, the fourth turn of the wire, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth turn of the wire. Imagine they're straight. And we want to look at these and think of them as a right triangle. So let me okay, so let's go ahead and draw one of these, the top right triangle. And let me get an arrow so you can see. Here's the hypotenuse of the triangle right here. Here's one leg of the right triangle here. And here's the other leg of the right triangle here. Let's mark this in blue. So this leg of the right triangle right here is going to be 60 divided by 8, which is 7.5 inches. So this is in inches. And this length of the right triangle, well, that is the circumference of the 
base of the cone, or excuse me, this is a cylinder, base of the cylinder, this is four inches. So this is, this is the circumference of the pipe. So what we have here is we have a right triangle where one side is four inches, and clearly this is not to scale. The other side is 7.5 inches, and this is the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse of this happens to be the length of the wire that gets wrapped out around eight times. So we need to find out what the length of the hypotenuse is. I'm going to call it x. So here's x, the length of the hypotenuse, x. And in fact, the Pythagorean theorem says that the two legs of the triangle, which are the shorter side, if you square them and added them together, there's the sum of their squares is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. And we want to know what the hypotenuse is because the hypotenuse is the length of the wire for one um, turn around the pipe. So if I do this, if I square, take 7.5 and I square it, I get 56.25 And if I square 14, we know that's, uh, if I square 4, that's 16. And this is equal to x squared. And if I add 56.25 to 16, I get 72.25. And that is what x squared is equal to. So now if I take the square root of both sides, I get the square root of 72.25 is equal to the square root of x, which is x. So let me find the square root of that. Oops. 72, I have my calculator here, 0.25. And I take its square root, and it is 8.5. So x is equal to 8.5. That's the length of one turn of the wire around the pipe. So each one of these turns, which is one of these turns around the pipe, is 8.5. Well, we have eight turns, so we're going to, we want to know what is eight times x, because there are eight turns, which is eight times 8.5, and that is equal to, multiply that by 8, uh, 68. So the answer is 68 inches. Let's put a box around our answer. And if you want another description of this type of problem, if you look in your online textbook on page 119, you will find an example problem. Not this problem, but something very similar. And keep in mind that if you do have any more questions for me and you press on or click on with your mouse, ask my instructor, the URL to that problem will be sent to me and I can work the problem out for you like this. Have a great day.